Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the demonstration series of AI fabric and the out of box models which are provided by UiPath. In this video, we are going to see how, what is sentiment analysis and how does it looks like when it works with UiPath Studio. First to talk about what is sentiment analysis, as you can see it is as simple as that. For example, if you will see on the screen, if somebody gives right this line that my experience is fantastic, that means it's a positive reaction. If somebody says your support team is useless, that means that it's a negative, a negative uh, sentiment. Okay, so now if I have a kind of feedback mechanism where I am gathering the feedback and I want to know what is the positive, which is the negative feedback, we use the sentiment analysis. How does the sentiment analysis work, right? So it is as simple as that we collect the data. The data can be collected with the help of the feedbacks, with the help of the reviews. The data can be scraped from the website or we can just directly get the dump of the data. Then that data is fed into a model. In our case is a AI fabric out of box model, machine learning model. And then the model predicts and provide you the sentiments with the help of a confidence score. Okay, so where exactly can the sentiment analysis can be used? It can be used to track the customer's uh, sentiments. It can be used to plan the product improvement based on the feedbacks. We can use the sentiment analysis to prioritize the customer services issues. And we can also uh, target the individuals to improve their uh, services the, where the feedback is extremely negative or the extremely poor. Now let us see how does the model looks like. I am in my UiPath studio. I have implemented the code of sentiment analysis. Let's see what we are trying to do in this demo. So I will go to this Excel sample feedback.excel file. So I have an Excel in front of me. This Excel is having some of the feedback. I have got it from the web. So these are some of the random names and assuming that these are the feedbacks of any of the product. So for example, this uh, this is a feedback. I have taken it from the Play Store. In the real world scenario, we can use the data scraping to scrape this data. We can get the feedback from the database. We can get the feedback as a dump of data, as a JSON file or any of the format. And then we can pass this uh, feedback to the machine learning model and then see what exactly what kind of feedback is this. Okay, so what we are expecting in this demo. Once I trigger the process, the uh, machine learning model will reach each and every uh, statement or the feedback and then it will it will predict the sentiment and then it will also give the confidence score okay so here we will find something called positive negative and in front of it we will also get the confidence score let's see that in working if I save I just go back to your part studio and run the file the bot is executing as you can see so it will take its time and once this is loaded we are expecting the sentiments to be loaded in front of each and every row with a confidence score let's wait for the bot to complete its execution okay so the bot has completed its execution let me go to the output and I do not have any exception let me go back to the folder I'll refresh everything and this was the file let me just open it and in front of each and every statement I now have a uh, feedback uh, sorry the sentiment and the confidence score so if I just read any one of this so if let us just take this one it allows me to watch a multitude of movies and shows low little money ever only downside it might for this so it is positive with a confidence of 0 0.55 okay let us see a very high one so this is 0 0.93 and it says very negative why let us try to read this so I have been told to play this movie I have been get stuck attempting to load video any video all the, the garbage isn't just smart TV it's all specific perfect right so that's why the model was able to predict it is at very negative and with a confidence score of 0 0.93 so this is how the sentiment analysis ML scale work now the question arises how do I learn it and where should you can get a gist of it so as of now UiPath is conducting a out of box model training so we are having session conducted by Nisargar Kadam. I will put the links in the description and you can refer those. In case you have missed the previous one, still you can go ahead and watch the recording and you can build the same automation. And in case you face any of the issues while implementing, you can always reach out to the author Nisarg. I will put his YouTube channel link and his LinkedIn details. He is very reachable and you can also refer to his YouTube channel. It has a great content on AI and ML skills. So I'll put all the links in the description. You can refer that. That is all for this video. 
thank you for watching and happy automation